This is an informative video about the Brandman expectations for online etiquette. Online communication has its challenges, and because much of our interaction, if not all, in Brandman classes happens online, we want to give you some tips to be successful in your conversations. First, let's discuss the importance of clarity in your messaging. Use straightforward language and state your purpose clearly. The reality is that if you send an email that is long enough to be the next great American novel, no one will read it and your message will be lost. Be concise and use bullet points if possible. It's important to be polite in your messaging. Sarcasm and sometimes even humor are very difficult to execute in text, so it's best to avoid it altogether unless you know your recipient very well. Flaming and inciting an argument are sure ways to lose an audience, and we all know the written word can be easily misinterpreted. So take the time to read your message before clicking send. Only use acronyms if your entire audience will understand them. Remember, all capital letters means you're yelling. So use all caps appropriately. A hooray, you're amazing, is a great use of all caps. You idiot, or any sentiment like it, is inappropriate. Our next tips are about subject lines. They are often overlooked or left blank, but they are essential to making emails and discussion boards user-friendly. Subject lines help your recipient know what's inside the email and will help them search for the email later if needed. Using the subject line wisely in your discussion board post will help your peers and the instructor make decisions about what to read first and what threads to follow. Think of your subject line as the headline on a newspaper article. It should be concise and tell the reader what to expect when they open the message. Also, when you forward an email, be sure to include an explanation about why you forwarded the message to the new recipient. You may even tell them what parts of the message pertain to them. This can be a huge time saver. Online communication is often used to get a message out to a large group, and many of the pitfalls in etiquette occur here. If you're sending an email to a large group of recipients, use the blind carbon copy, also known as the BCC function. Then, if one of the 150 people replies all, it will only come to you. Brilliant! If you intend to have a group discussion on email, be sure that everyone you copy is essential to the conversation and wants to be part of it. In this instance, the whole group would use the reply all function, so the whole group is part of the conversation. Remember, and this is important, if you receive an email that is sent to a group, do not reply all unless your response should be read by everyone. Discussion boards are a major part of your online courses, and when used effectively, your participation can deepen your learning experience. Here are a few tips to help you be successful. Before you dive in and start posting, be sure you've read the directions in all the posts in the thread you're posting to. This will ensure you're not wasting your time or being redundant. Be sure your post adds to the conversation with information, thought questions, or connections to other ideas or facts. The goal in these online discussions is to move the discourse further to help everyone learn. Do take the time to proofread and spell check before submitting your post. Although discussion boards are less formal than your major assignments, they still need to be written at the university level. In all of your interactions online, remember that there are people behind posts, emails, and text. Try to give the benefit of the doubt whenever you can and treat others the way you want to be treated.